I'm not going to lie. If I had days off for a little bit, it's because I'm tired as hell. I woke up at like 7 in the morning today. I had class at 8. And then I came home. I was trying to sleep. And I was like, you know what? I got to make a video. I've been slacking very heavily with you guys. But I want to get back on this grind. And I'm going to try to upload every single day. I know yesterday was Labor Day, so I didn't upload because it was a vacation day. And now I'm back. So let's get it. We're going to get back to getting 1,000 subscribers per day. We're going to make it happen. Yo, 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 what's good, our squad? Welcome back to our sneakers. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me about this headband right here. You guys have been asking me where I get them, and I'm going to tell you guys not how I get them or where I get them from. I'm going to tell you guys how I make them, but not in today's video. That'll be in a later video. Moving on with the video, today I'm going to tell you guys how to start a sneaker collection. A lot of you guys have been wondering how to start your sneaker collection, which is not easy because, first of all, it was not easy to get to this many shoes. And to be honest, this is not even a big sneaker collection compared to other sneaker heads. If you guys look at other YouTubers, they have way bigger collections. They have, like, walls filled up with just these sneaker boxes. And I plan to get there one day, but right now, it's pretty small. You guys will see in the thumbnail how many shoes I really have. I, have. I actually have more than that, and then I have these above me. I don't have a lot of heat, so they're not really, like, the biggest in your collection, but I feel like I do have some good shoes here and there. The way I started was just going out to the stores and buying what was there and what I actually like. Because the thing with me is I don't like wasting my money. I don't like to buy shoes just to have shoes. I like to buy shoes to actually, like, wear them. I don't just buy them just to keep them, like, locked up and get dusted. No. I actually wear my shoes, so that's why I buy the shoes that I really like. Because if I buy shoes that I don't like and I just buy them just to have them, I'm not going to wear them. I have made that mistake a few times. There are a few shoes here and there, like, I don't even wear the Air Max Zeros. I just bought them because they were hype because it's, like, the pre-sketch. It was, like, the first shoe Tinker Hatfield ever drew. So I was like, you know what, let me just buy it because I really do like like the history behind the shoe but i guess it's more of a collector's shoe for me than it is as a shoe that i wear on the daily the first shoe that i started buying were free runs because i like the way they look they look very sleek on the foot they're not too bulky they're very nice they're a running shoe you can wear them literally anywhere you can wear them to the gym you can wear them out you can wear them casually obviously not to the club but like you can wear them mostly anywhere and then eventually the Nike hype started dying down and the Adidas hype started growing. That's when I bought these. I heard a boost. I was like, you know what? Let me just try a pair of boosts. And I bought these and I liked them a lot because they did have boosts. They were more comfortable than Nikes, of course. But unfortunately, they're not really a hype shoe. They're ugly. And I, just, I don't even wear these anymore. I barely even wear these. I think the last time I wore them was like to cut somebody's hair. And that was the last time. And one thing led to the next. I eventually just started getting more shoes. At this time, I did have a job, so I was able to afford like shoes not monthly yeah i told myself that i would buy shoes monthly and i would make a budget for that i'd probably like just spend a hundred dollars max on a shoe maybe like 120 sometimes because that's what like most free runs go for some shoes that i bought were like 120 at most but it hurt to spend 180 on ultra boost when i got them but i'll get into that later on eventually you're gonna see your sneaker collection start growing and then you're gonna want more hype stuff like you're gonna get tired of like the general release the things you just see in stores and then you're gonna want the more hype stuff and that's when I guess you can, I mean, I'm not saying you can't go for the hype stuff now, but I'm just saying, like, it's going to be hard to get those shoes. That's why they're hype. I mean, they're hard to get because they're hype. And if you want to just save your money and not even buy the, like, the shoes that they have in the stores and just get hype shoes, like, just limited release shoes, then go for that. That would be my best advice to you guys because I feel like I just wasted my money buying free runs and all those because I barely wear them. And maybe if you want to feel like you have more limited stuff, go for the Jordans. The Jordan releases are kind of hard to get. I mean, not hard to get. I'm sorry. They're actually, like... They're limited, but they just sit on shelves because nobody wants them because they're just such high quantity now. But they are limited to the fact that they only made a certain amount and they don't make them after that. Unless they restock, but that's like very rare now because of the fact that they sit on shelves. Basically, the moral of the story is just buy shoes and then eventually like it'll grow. Try to buy a shoe per month. That, that was my goal. And sometimes I didn't accomplish it because sometimes there were shoes I didn't want or just there was or because there was times I just couldn't buy them. And that's fine. Maybe every other month or maybe every three months you get a new pair of shoes. That's fine. Eventually your collection will grow. If you just want to have a big sneaker collection and don't care about what sneakers they are, then I would say just go to the outlets because the outlets do have, obviously they're going to have real shoes. not going to sell you fakes, but they're just not going to be like very limited shoes. They're going to be very general shoes. But I mean, that's a good way to start off and just like, I guess, hype yourself up to have a bit, even a bigger collection. Like when you have a decent collection, you want to just have a bigger one. Like mine is a decent collection and I don't want to even make it bigger. Like I want shoes to be stacked up to like the top right there. And you guys can see like I have had a few boxes. Some of those boxes are empty. Some of them have shoes in them. And then I have like shoes down here, but I can't put any more because I have to like fit my clothes in here as well. And I just want to have everything stacked. I want to have these boxes all around my room. And when I move out to a big apartment, then I want to actually have like, I want to fill that whole apartment up as well. You just got to like have a goal for yourself. Set a goal of how many shoes you really want to have. Set a goal of the shoes you want to have. And maybe you can't buy them retail, then buy them resell sometimes if they're not too much over like 
the triple black ultra boost i think they retailed at 180 and they started reselling at 300 which is not bad like right now i have on my feet a pair of shoes that do sit in stores and it is these puma ignites i think that's what it's called like or yeah ignite or sugi i don't know they have some weird name but these actually sit on shelves they're still in stores right now and i just bought these because i really like them when i saw the shoe i really liked this i was like you know what let me buy it i honestly just now i just buy shoes that i really like i mean if there's times that i can't buy them then i just can't buy them like i wanted to get the nmd triple blacks the japan ones i just couldn't get those because i was in peru but i think i have one of my guys down in south florida right now holding on to them for me which i will cop when I get paid at the end of this month. One last tip, which only pertains to those sneakerheads that really know their sneakers, is you can buy off eBay, you can buy off Craigslist, you can buy off like a bunch of other websites. There's like little apps nowadays. You can buy off Go, obviously, but like I'm talking about like for lower prices, you can buy off like eBay, Craigslist, um, I don't know, some other apps that sell fakes, but they also sell reels. You just gotta be really careful with that. It's like, it's like there's local sellers in the app, but some of them wanna sell fakes, obviously, to make money. But then there's those people that do sell real shoes, and I would say you could buy off those if you know your shoes, like when you go to buy them, if they're fake, then obviously you can just return them like eBay. You have like that eBay guaranteed safety thing. I don't know exactly what it is, but you're safe buying on eBay if you notice that they're fake. And also read the description, know how to, you gotta know how to buy off these websites. I'm not gonna get into that in this video because that would just make this video way too long because there's so much to get on that. But if you guys wanna know how to buy off eBay, Craigslist and all that, just let me know in the comments down below and I will most likely try to make a video on that. But yeah, you can find steals on eBay, like you just gotta know what you're looking for. Anyways, that pretty much wraps up today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to share this video with your friends. Make sure if they're sneakerheads or if they're just like anybody that just wants to grow the shoe collection, doesn't necessarily have to be a sneakerhead, share this video with them. Comment down below. Also, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And also, I need to let you know that I'm doing a Yeezy Zebra mask giveaway. I am giving away this mask right here. And if you want to enter, all you got to do is go down in the description down below, click on the link that says Yeezy Mask Giveaway, enter all those entries, and for every single thing that you do, you get one entry and that basically like raises your chances to win and hurry up because it is a limited amount of time it will most likely be by the end of this month because i am slacking and i just couldn't get this channel to 25k by the middle of this month but by the end of this month i'm pretty sure we can hit it if i keep my grind up and you guys help me out too by sharing the videos anyways guys i do gotta give a shout out to the fan of the day because i always forget to do that so today's fan of the day is sneaker peeker you were the first one to comment notification squad on my latest video which was the game with my roommate and his girlfriend but I was supposed to choose a winner today for last month, but I just don't have time. Like I said, I'm squeezed on time right now. I literally have an hour to edit this video and upload it. So I will do that either tomorrow or the day after. I'm just going to try my best to do it within the next week for sure. Anyways, guys, make sure you stay woke. It's your boy. See you sign out.